If you're in Ventura County, California, I am here to rescue your money, right? Yeah, I'm here to rescue it. I'm here to rescue it from the landlord-tenant policies that are becoming untenable throughout the entire state of California. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. James Wise here. I rescue California's California's citizens. I should have said I rescue Californians. But I said, uh, anyway, if you're from California, you need rescuing. Well, at least your money does if you're trying to be a landlord. Am I right? And today, my client, his name is Jeff. He's from Ventura, California. He's looking for some cash flow assets. And oh boy, Jeff, do I got a good one for you today, man. This one, you're going to need a bid list or higher because this one is 50 years newer than typical housing stock in the area. This one has a premium layout. And it's priced beautifully. The returns we're going to get on this one are going to be primo. And the landlord-tenant policies, bro, you still have rights as a property owner. Let's check it out after the break. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Bolton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for watching that splendiferous commercial we put together for you guys, right? Uh, this property, I think you're really going to dig this one. This, this is a beauty. I really, really, really like this one for a lot of reasons, Okay. 907 Root Road, Lorraine, 4402. Days on the market, zero. As in, it just hit the market today. And I am sending it to you. And I need you to bid like that because it's going to fly. Multi-offers, right? 139.9 is what they're asking. Minimum, at minimum, I want you to just go 140, right? 100 bucks over. Makes it look good, right? 140 at minimum. I'm going to run the numbers at 140, but honestly, even at 140, I don't know if we're going to take it down. So I'd like you to go above that to the level of your comfort, okay? I love this thing for many, many reasons, all right? It's big. It's 2,000 square feet, okay? It's 1,000 square foot per unit. It's brick, okay? I like brick much better than the stick frame, okay? More expensive to build with brick. It's newer, all right? Now, you're seeing all the exterior stuff here, but this is newer, all right? We don't have any interior photos, but that's okay. More on that in a second. Newer construction, 1972. Now, I know a lot of you are like, dude, newer construction, that's like 50 years old. This is the Cleveland market. This is Northeast Ohio, all right? Most of our multifamily housing stack out here in this market, it's like 1920s, right? So it's 50 years newer than that stuff, okay? So, like, you know, your main sewer stack, 50 years of additional life on this bad boy. Your electrical wiring, no knob and tube in this bad boy, okay? Knob and tube. I know from, like, the West Coast and stuff and a lot of the other places, they're like, wait, what? They still got knob and tube in Ohio? Yeah, man, we do, right? We do. And it's not even against code to leave it in there, but this one, don't have to deal with it, right? So think about that stuff. Addition, additionally, it's a side-by-side -side layout. Each unit has a main floor and a secondary floor. Main floor, secondary floor. Those are my favorite types of duplexes, folks. My favorite. If you have people living above and below each other, the sound, it travels. Guy upstairs, ah, people downstairs making noise. People downstairs, ah, guy upstairs making noise. You don't got to deal with that, right? Feels a lot more like a house than a uh, duplex, all right? So what you're going to get, higher rents. You're going to get fewer turnovers, fewer tenant disputes. Whenever you get the opportunity to go side by side, you got to do it, folks. The thing is, the majority of our housing stock out here in this market, right, not side by side. It's usually up down, and it's not built in the 70s. It's usually built in the 20s, right? So this is a rare bird. So again, 140 is the minimum I think you should offer to take it down. Now, 
We have no interior photos, but that's okay. The reason we don't is because there's two tenants in there, both paying 600 a month. Not supposed to be paying 600 a month. Mom and pop landlords, they don't always keep up with the market, know what they need to be charging. These are actually $875 units, okay? The fact that the tenants are in there paying 600 that's why we don't got pictures, right? Tenants don't like people bothering them, right? It's freaking post-COVID America, folks. Guess what? Pre-COVID, tenants didn't want a bunch of dipshit realtors going in their houses, okay? Post-COVID, they definitely don't. So that's not something I'm alarmed about. I'll tell you this, though. I can almost guarantee you these units aren't, like, super fresh. Folks, this is how this business works. I don't want you to think you could rent a unit to somebody for, like, four years, and then when they move out, you just go, da. I'm going to sweep this, and then we're going to run it for market. Doesn't work that way. Reality check. You're repainting stuff anyway, okay? That's just how it is, right? So don't anticipate having anything brand new. I would assume after turnover, we're doing some refreshes, right? Could be like 5 Gs a unit. Could be like 10 or 12 if we got to redo the, the kitchen countertops or whatnot, right? If they've been replaced in the last, like, 10, 15 years, we're probably okay. Uh, if they haven't, we're not, right? I mean... Even 15-year-old kitchen could use some upgrading, you know? Maybe get it painted white or gray. So you're going to spend a little money on turnover. But I want to try to avoid that as long as possible, right? You just slowly increase the rents over as you take it over, right? You don't need to go from 6 to 875 immediately, man. No. Go slow. Go 6 to 650. 650 to 750. 750 to 8 and a quarter, right? Keep the people in there so you don't have to spend money on turnovers, right? You're going to do enough turnovers in the rental game. Don't create artificial ones. But once you eventually get them to market rent, that's where things get beautiful, man. 1750 comes in every month, okay? 21 Gs for the year. You spend uh 106, right? A little bit about half of that, right? Should leave you with 10,326 to clear, right? 10,326 to clear. Now, if you pay 140, you only put down 35. The bank is going to kick in the rest, okay? Bank kicks in the rest. You only put down 35. We get the bank to kick in all the rest of the money for you, okay? And this, this is why real estate is the best investing that there is, folks. With real estate, you, you do not have to finance your investments. No, the bank kicks in three-fourths of the pizza. You only kick in one-fourth. Can't do that with Bitcoin. Can't do that with NFTs. Can't do that if you're selling dream catchers on Etsy with your girlfriend. I know who you are. I know who you are out there. Anywho, real estate. Use the cheap money that's available today. Finance your investments, right? The whole thing nets out to be about a 14% cash on cash return, right? 14.3. And... We got side-by-sides, probably going to have lower turnover, right? So if you go back to my chart, repairs and maintenance, okay? Repairs and maintenance directly related to turnovers. You're spending the majority of that money I have you allocating, that ten fifty a year. The majority of that is spent on those five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 turnovers, right? You don't do too many repairs while people are living there, right? Your vacancy and non-payment, right? People moving in and out, not collecting rent. If you don't have a lot of turnovers, you don't have a lot of that. If you got a nice side-by-side -side layout where it feels more like a house than a duplex, you don't deal with a lot of that stuff, right? Up-down duplexes, shared basements. Shared basements mean shared laundry. Shared laundry, I would be lying if I said we didn't have to deal with situations where tenant A is stealing the panties from tenant B. Yeah, it happens. Welcome to being a landlord. This is your life now. But don't worry. Holton Wise, we handle the panty theft. You don't have to stick your nose in the panty theft, folks. We stick our nose in the panty theft. We take care of it for you, but guess what? We don't take care of any problems for you without charging you, right? So lowers costs on that front. Capital expenditures, right? You got brick here, okay? Over in Cleveland, they're doing a the lead-based paint stuff, right? The majority of that, you got to spend that money on the exterior, the old wood siding. Don't have to deal with it. Now, you don't have to deal with it anyway because it's Lorraine. But who knows? 10, 15, 20 years down the road, maybe Lorraine starts doing that stuff. I don't know. Shouldn't have to deal with it here. Not to mention, house was built in 72, only six years before lead-based paint was outlawed. Much much more unlikely to ever have any lead-based paint issues with this on a property here than in one in Cleveland, all right? So the investment should be solid. And I also like the fact that it's in Lorraine. 
Nice, solid C-grade neighborhood. Also getting two naval bases. That's going to add like 3,000 jobs next year. So I love everything about this one. So my opinion, you need to bid at least 140, possibly more, but you should definitely take this thing down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.